Satya, Assistant Professor, Department of Computer Applications, Case of College of Arts and Science for Women, Chichungu. Now we are going to discuss about visual programming, the name property. The name property is a key feature of many visual programming languages that allow developers to assign name to specific elements of this code. This can make it easier to understand and modify code, especially in larger projects. Benefits of visual programming with name property. Using visual programming with a name property can provide several benefits including improved efficiency and scalability, easier to collaboration among developers, increased code readability and maintainability, creating controls with visual programming. Creating controls with visual programming involves using pre-built components and track and drop functionality to quickly design and implement user interface. This can save time and resource compared to traditional programming methods. Examples of visual programming tools. There are several visual programming tools available including Node-RED, LabVIEW and Scratch. Each tool offers unique features and benefits allowing developer to choose the best tool for their specific needs. Toolbox. The toolbox is a visual, visual programming tool that allows developer to create application quickly and easily with its intuitive interface and powerful features. Toolbox is the perfect tool for the streamlining your software development process. Examples of visual programming tools. There are many visual programming tools available in building user interface including Blackpea, Scratch and Meet App Inverter. These tools make it easy to create interactive interface uh, without uh, needing to write code. Forms, the forms are the backbone of the VB application. They provide the user interface for the application, allow user to interact with the application's functionality. In this section, we will explore the various type of forms available in VB and how they can be used to create a custom user experience. Controls controls are the build, build block of any VB form. They provide the user interface elements that allow user to interact with application. In this section, we will explore the various types of controls available in VB and how they can be used to customize to fit the your specific needs. Debugging. Debugging is an essential part of the software development process. In this section, we will explore the various debugging tools available in VB and how they can be used to identify and fix errors in your code. Understanding the code window. The code window is the where you write and edit your code. It is a powerful tool that allows you to write code quickly and efficiently. It is divided into several sections including the code panel, the properties window, the code toolbox, understanding how to use the sections. They can unlocking the power of the code window. Navigation the code window. Navigating the code window can be strictly put in essential to write efficient code. Some helpful shortcuts include using the FA key to step through you code line by line and using the control plus F key to search for specific code. Learning these shortcuts are used to store data in memory. During program execution, in visual programming variable must be declared before they can be used. This slide will co cover the different uh, data types that can be used for the variables and how to declare the initialization name. Constraints. Constraints are the similar to variables, but their value cannot be changed during program execution. These slides will cover how to declare and use constants in your Visual Basic code. Input. Input is how your program receives data from the user or from other sources. These slides will cover how to use the input function to get the user input and how to use command line arguments to get input from other sources. Data, different data types are used to store different types of data such as numbers, text and date. date. This slide will cover the different data types available in Visual Basic and how to choose the right data type for your variables. Thank you.